Hey what's going on guys, it's Tom here back today answering more of your questions about Black Ops 2, sharing the knowledge I gained from actually playing lots of the multiplayer aspect of the game. Been answering your tweets in a few videos now, I think this is now part 5, so you guys have had lots of questions, I've been answering lots of them. If you have any that aren't answered in this video, maybe check back to some of the other videos, see if it was answered there, and if not, just tweet me it, and I'll be happy to answer it in another video. So actually before I start with the questions, I just wanted to give you a quick update on something that David Von der Hart tweeted out yesterday, this is the picture of the emblem editor, the way it's going to be coming in Black Ops 2. You can see there they're actually calling the player card emblems calling cards in this year's game and of course you are going to be able to choose your clan tag like in previous games so that's just a little picture right there I didn't want to make a whole video on that because I didn't think there was enough information to kind of pack into one whole video but I'm really looking forward to the emblem editor the way it's going to be coming in Black Ops 2. I think again this year you're actually going to get 35 layers which is absolutely crazy and one other update from David Von der Hart that I want to share with you guys is the fact that when you actually start playing multiplayer in this year's game you can play any game mode you want so in previous games you could pretty much only choose TDM I think it was maybe TDM or free for all this year you can start straight off you can go straight into search and destroy straight into I don't know ground war straight into domination straight into anything you really want as soon as you actually pick up the game so that's something that's going to be new in this year's game but now moving on to the questions and I got a lot more questions after the last video the top thumbed up question on last week's video was actually can other people see the steady aim laser from your gun and yes they can you know because when you're actually running the laser attachment which is actually going to act like steady aim from the previous games that is going to be visible by the enemies and this is actually part of the balance you know you can have this attachment that is you know a really good attachment it's going to decrease the bullet spread meaning you're more accurate when firing from the hip however as a penalty for this you're actually going to you know be given away by that laser sight Another top thumbed up question was, if you use the fast mag attachment and you pick up someone else's weapon, do you lose the fast reloading on that new weapon? And I believe you are going to because in this year's game, the attachments actually control how you can handle the gun. So the fact of the matter is that in previous games, you might have had the sleight of hand perk, which actually affected your player. In this year's game, those attachments are only going to affect the gun. So if you do pick up a gun that doesn't have fast mags on it, you're not actually going to have fast reloads. However, even if you're not running fast mags and you pick up a gun that does have fast mags on it, you are then going to get fast fast reloads on that gun so I know it can go both ways you might actually kind of lose a bit of fast reloading but you also might gain fast reloading if you pick up the right gun so those were actually questions from the video and you know, drop some comments below if you have any questions but now I'm going to be moving on to a few tweets is the Nuketown Zombies map free for everyone no it's only going to be available to people who pre-ordered the game pre-ordered the hardened or prestige edition can you unlock anything staying at level 55 I don't think you can you are going to have to prestige in this year's game to actually unlock everything Will the original Zombies characters come back? Yes, I do believe they are coming back to the survival mode of the game. We're going to get new characters for Transit, but I do think the old classics are going to be coming back for survival yet again. Is the X-Ray Sniper that we saw in campaign mode coming back to multiplayer and will Novogast return? The X-Ray Sniper that we saw in the campaign mode is only in the campaign. There is a millimeter scanner, but it's nowhere near as powerful as that campaign mode X-Ray Sniper, and Novogast is not coming back in this year's game. Another one here, are the higher end killstreaks more rewarding than Modern Warfare 3? I'd say they are more rewarding purely in a sense that they are going to build on your next streak. So let's just say you actually get the swarm killstreak, which is the highest killstreak in the game, the highest score streak, I should really say. Once you actually get that, your points are going to be reset. Then any points you actually accumulate from getting kills from the swarm killstreak, although you won't be getting massive score, you only get around like plus 25, that's really going to add up and start building on your next killstreak. So, so in that sense, I'd say they are a little bit more rewarding than Modern Warfare 3. Is it fast paced like Modern Warfare? Warfare 3 or is it more slow paced like Black Ops I'd say it's a medium between the two you know it's not as fast as Modern Warfare 3 not as slow as Black Ops I'd say it's kind of perched quite nicely in the middle Next one here about map choices and there is actually going to be the random choice coming back to the map choices you know they had that in Black Ops they actually didn't have it in Modern Warfare 3 and I'm really pleased that that's coming back so if you don't like the look of the two maps that they're actually giving you you can vote for a random map and that's something that I'm really pleased about Another one here about will there be gun perks like there was in Modern Warfare 3 I assume he's actually talking about proficiencies and no proficiencies aren't going to be coming back in this year's game Now the final one it looks like we've got time for is is about perks are they going to have pro challenges to make them better and no there aren't going to be any pro perks in this year's game there's only just going to be regular perks you know they've got ghost no ghost pro got toughness no toughness pro so there's going to be no pro perks just the kind of basic perks that you're going to get straight away so anyway, guys as i said that's just about all we got time for in this video make sure you tweet me or drop comments on any more questions you might have if you're still here and you enjoyed the video hit that like button guys it really helps out my channel got a big week of videos planned so check back every night i'm going to be uploading every day this week without fail so also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and apart from that guys check out a couple of my previous videos got those on screen right now and i'll catch you guys on my next video objective parameters obtained well done